Huh? Me? Good morning. Not me. No? Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We just wanted to let you know we're on and we'll be starting Mass in just a moment. Uh, today we are going to celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation and uh, we'll be talking about that. So um, let's uh, get our hearts ready to pray. T minus one minute. I think that would be funny. Oh, Greg and Trudy are here. Oh my gosh! Hello, Greg and Trudy. Oh, Bernice, you got. Hi, this is Father Joe. You can't see see me, but I'm behind the camera. Oh my gosh! Is that? I don't have my glasses on. Uh, oh, Lindsay. Hey. Uh, Good morning to all of you. I, I see you taking your virtual seats. <coughs> and it made me cough. Oh, I see Vipers on. Uh, so good morning to all of you. Uh, I'm so blessed. Traverse City, wow, I hope you're near water. Uh, oh, and Teresa, we miss you a lot. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Lori's here. Well, Lori's here twice. It just said Lori checked in, but just so you guys know, Zavan, you guys, that guy is one of the funniest people I ever taught in high school. Okay, so we're going to start Mass now. I just wanted you to know I see you checking in before Mass here, and I'm so touched. I can't wait for us all to pray. The Lord said as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today as a church, we celebrate the Annunciation of the Lord. This is a feast where we remember that moment where the archangel came to our Blessed Mother and uh, announced to her, the possibilities that God was going to unleash if she would only say yes. She said yes, and so we get this moment. May this Eucharist strengthen us to say yes to our God in anything he asks of us. That we might celebrate these sacred and joyful mysteries more worthily, we give God our sins and we trust his power to save us. <clears throat>
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. It is, not an, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here Here I I am, am, Lord. Lord. I I come come to do your your will. will. In the written (laughs) scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight. And your law is within my heart. Here Here I I am, Lord. Lord. I come come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. Mm -hmm. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here Here I I am, am, Lord. Lord. I I come come to do your your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here Here I I am, am, Lord. Lord. I I come come to to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, 
we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin, betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. She was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. <clears throat> then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. <clears throat> he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. <clears throat> Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Behold, Elizabeth, your relative, also conceived a son in her old age. This is the sixth month for she who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my constant uh, throat clearing and coughing and sneezing. It's not the coronavirus. Uh, for those of you who don't pray mass with me, usually this is every day. Um, so uh, this is a big day. And I think of a lot of different things to talk to you about. Um, and bandwidth limitations means I can't do the 75-minute homily. What I think we'll focus on today is uh, the end of the game, okay? Uh, and what I want to bring you to is 1994. Uh, every year, all the seminaries in the country, I don't know if they still do this, get together for a huge basketball tournament. And in 1994, Mundelein had won, I think, 9,000 years in a row. Uh, and we were there, and we got all the way to the finals to play them, and uh, we had a good team. Um, so in the end, we were in the fourth quarter, and uh, we were down one, and there was literally no time left on the clock, and the worst free throw shooter on the team had been fouled, and that would be me. So I remember going over to the sideline, this is a true story, and the coach was Father Paul C. Minus Berg. <clears throat> and when they fouled me, I think he died a little uh, that day. And I, we get to the sidelines and he's just going, Oh no, Oh no. And, uh, it really, I felt confident. Um, so I go out there, uh, to shoot the free throws. And frankly, I just need to make one. If I can make one, we go to overtime and, uh, I missed the first one. And there was this moment and stick with me. I know it's a long story, the, one of the longest moments in my life, and I really mean this, was the ref getting the ball and bringing it back to me for the second shot. Because in my head, and I'm serious, all I could think of was what it will look like if I make it and what I will feel like if I don't. And I was so conscious of that. Uh, the center on our team was from Samoa, Talase. And Talasi came over and he kind of bumped his head against mine. And he said, I'm not kidding. He goes, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I hit the free throw. We went into overtime. We won. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it's kind of a big deal. But 
that moment is what I think of at this line of scripture. Ready? The angel said, Behold, Elizabeth, your relative has conceived a son in her old age. This is the sixth month for she who was called barren. Ready? For nothing will be impossible for God. So what do you mean will be? Well, something needs to happen first. And it's that, yes. Isn't that insane? The entire history of salvation, God's hopes for the human race were pinned on the yes or no of a young woman, 13 to 15 years old. Nothing will be impossible to God. And the moment she said yes, or in Hebrew, hineni, then everything became possible. And I mean that. So that's what I want us to think about today. That's why I have my rosary on the altar. I'm not praying the rosary. I've gotten your messages. Don't do that. I know. I'm trying to remember how important it is that every minute I imitate my mom and say, yes, my heavenly mother. So may this Eucharist today strengthen us to just say yes, to worry about the how and the where and the why and the when later, that we, God's pinning a lot on us for no other reason than that seems to be how he works. So let's say yes every time. Amen. <clears throat> Let's rise and offer our prayers to the Lord through the intercession of our mother. <clears throat> For the leaders of the church, may the Lord richly bless them in their ministry and protect them from all evils that surround them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation's leaders, may God grant them compassion and insight in acting for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and all those who care for them, may God grant them healing, relief, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, may the Holy Spirit continue to empower us in saying yes to what mm -hmm. God asks of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, for lives lost to the coronavirus, mm. for all Holy Family parishioners who died on this date, including... Morris Madden, John Connor, Ray Stoner, Catherine McCarty, Robert Ledley, Ethel Papp, and Richard Valco. May they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by Mary and the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Thomas Wamba, for whom this Mass mm. is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift and the example of our Blessed Mother. <clears throat> By following her example and seeking her prayers, may we grow in our ability and desire to say yes to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, <clears throat> May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash me of my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Please rise and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings so that she who is aware of her beginnings, excuse me, Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings, so that she, who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overpowering of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. <clears throat> Together with Francis, our Pope, and Earl, our Bishop, Carl, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Uh, okay, Lord. Thank you for this. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And may the mingling of the body and blood of our... Come Holy Spirit, may the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we receive in purity of heart. That what has been given to us in time will be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mystery of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that, confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please bow for the blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that, doing what is good in this world, they may reach you the highest good, through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, all holy men and women, thank you, Lord. Leave the headset on. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Oh man, I am I'm snotty today. <laughs> All right, give me just one minute. I'll be right there. <clears throat> Assuming Lori repents of her innumerable sins.
I leave this on? Did you say, okay, hey everybody, good morning. Um, how'd you like that prayer before, prayer over the offerings? That was the most awkwardly worded, well, hello, thing ever. Sorry, I messed that up. I blame Maria, she was just wonderful. Did you see him sleeping at the first part of Mass? We usually save that for the homily. Yeah, hello, hello. He thought about it. He, he did. did. Oh, well, God's people, let's take a look. This is, you know, Marius. He is officially a gangster. Um, I don't know if you saw my post the other day, but in one four-day stretch, he got a visit from the, the cops, from the fuzz, and he got uh, a letter from the post office. So um, he's very naughty. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's see what we got from you beautiful people of God. First of all, um, oh, okay, I received $14 from my Apple Card cash yesterday. That's not really important. I love to hear you say, come, is this from her or is this a question you guys said? It's, I, either Nikki's complimenting me or she's saying me so many times. Oh, okay, there's things you hear, oh, really? Okay, I didn't know you could hear me, I'm sorry. Apparently there's things I say. Uh, there that you hear. I, I can't hear anything. Seriously, I'm pretty messed up hearing what I see, so I don't know what you can hear. So, okay, uh, yeah, come Holy Spirit, if you hear me say that, I got lost, or I couldn't remember <laughs> the next prayer. <laughs> you know, I prayed Mass a certain way for, let me see, 11, 12, 13 years, and they changed the translations, and what I always, here's the process that happens. It's kind of funny. Um, I'll start to say the prayer and then I'll think, oh, wait, is that the old one? And then I'm doing all this in my head of which one. It's so, poor Jesus. Okay. I'm out of it today. Are you considering doing FaceTime or on the phone confessions? Oh, we cannot do that. I'm so sorry. Uh, what we can do is... Um, like, in fact, give me a second. I think I saved it, okay? This actually, praise the Lord, you brought this up. Um, my dog is a huge sinner. You can't see, but he's causing problems. Okay, ready? This is from Archbishop, um, blah, 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 which means I think he's from Poland. So there's 18 consonants in his last name, and then I think a number, okay? So here's what he says. This is beautiful. Oh, mijo, shh, shh, shh. Um, the church teaches that venial sins are forgiven in confession through prayer by receiving the Holy Communion. Spiritual communion and the rosary also forgive venial sins. Okay? Most of you, and I'm, you know, just being blunt, most of you, that's from, like, you know, that's all of our trouble is venial sins. For something to be a mortal sin, you have to be free to not sin. You have to know it's a sin and not care, and it needs to be a serious matter. When those three things happen all at the same time, you hit mortal sin. So at this point, I urge you to be at peace. It's pretty tough to actually commit a mortal sin. Um, and I know, and I, I, I don't want to disrespect, I know priests will give you this list. If you do this, it's a mortal sin. I, eh. There's a lot to take into account. Anyway, what about mortal sins during this time? Whoever is aware of a grave or mortal sin, uh, like Lori. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's an angel. Whoever is aware of a grave or mortal sin should make an act of contrition and a commitment to go to confession when they can. The Lord will take care of the rest. We are in good hands. Just remember, I think it was St. Augustine who told us, basically, God wants to forgive you more than you could ever want to be forgiven. And so be at peace, okay? Uh, our Lord isn't going to ask you to do what is impossible, unless your name's Mary and you're a superhero. Okay, would you consider parking lot Palm Sunday? <laughs> no, uh, but I love the title. I actually, can we think about using this at some point in the future for no clear reason? Parking lot Palm Sunday. Uh, no, um, we will have a way for you to get palms. Beautiful, or, right? Oh, shut up. Okay, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I am a train wreck this morning, and it's because Carrie punches me in the head. 
sometimes before mass and I cry. You make little baby Jesus sad. Okay, I'm not allowed to say Carrie's name. Carrie does not want her name said at any point. What did Carrie say? Uh, Carrie said not to say her name, Lori. Uh, yeah, is it's Carrie, here? Carrie is here, and Carrie's asking that we stop it. saying Carrie's name. Going to She's going to end it. But here's the key, guys. I have just two words, witness protection. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, um, witness protection. Uh, on Palm Sunday, we will have a means we pray to get you the palms. Beautiful Lori has been working on these plans forever, and she's very good at this stuff. So uh, I don't know the plans yet, because honestly, I just said, Lori, can you make a plan? And she said, see, sí, that's Spanish. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a train wreck. Are people freaking? Are they? Are they? Uh, okay, good. Okay. I love you guys. I'm sorry. This is messy me. Um, don't mention Carrie's name in the future, Lori. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Did you write down about Carrie's name? Okay. How has the Blessed Virgin Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, Carrie, all right? So you need to get that down so that we don't say Carrie's name on this thing. I don't know if you see Carrie's freaking out because we're saying Carrie's name. Okay. How has, come Holy Spirit, how has the Blessed Virgin impacted your life? Oh, she gave me, <laughs> she gave us Jesus, guys. I'm dead serious. Just think of how crazy our God is. And I'm dead serious. The salvation of the entire universe, he just put on her yes. And, and gave her the grace to say yes, right? She didn't do anything on her own. Uh, her righteousness was not her righteousness. It was God's righteousness in her. And I could go on and on. I promise I'll shut up. So how has she impact, had an impact on my life? I would say, don't say impacted my life because only colons get impacted, right? She has had an impact on my life. Am I proper in that grammar? Okay. Um, I just, I know this sounds funny. I want to be a male version of her. I, I don't know how else to say it. I believe, let me think, come Holy Spirit. Okay, think of it this way. The soul of the church is feminine. Okay. I think that's part of the reason it might be a little tougher to get men in church is because by its nature, the soul of the church is feminine. She is bride, Jesus is groom. And that imagery is not for us just a symbol, it's a reality. It, uh, uh, go slow. So keep that in mind, okay? The church is feminine, that while you have a ma if you're a man, you have a male soul, you have uh, a feminine spirit in a sense in relation to God. And a lot of religions get this, okay? A lot, not just us. Um, come Holy Spirit. So for me, I think it's fair to say, see what you think, ladies. There's, there's two holy women here it tends to be a bit easier for women to enter into the spiritual life because by its nature, it's a feminine soul to our spirituality, a receiving soul, okay? St. John Paul II wrote a lot about this. So for men, it's a little tougher. We want to be initiators. We want to be doers, um, not the scotch. Did anyone get that? Yes. Oh, of course, Carrie did. Lori's very innocent. She's like, I don't know what that is. I suspect it's a form of alcohol. Okay, come Holy Spirit. So for me, that's why Mary, at least one of the million reasons she's so important to me, I need her to pray for me so that I am more receptive, so that I am more um, willing to let God enter me. And instead of the sin, I think of a lot of us men folk running ahead of God. <laughs> like, yeah, hold on, God, I'll run ahead and plow the road. Yeah, way to go, ego boy. Um, I hope this makes sense. Does this, ladies? Yeah, okay. Um, would you, ex no, I missed a question, sorry. Do you have any advice on how we can let Mary take over our lives? Um, sure, just ask her. Seriously, she's your mom, right? Think of this, and I know a lot of my Protestant brothers and sisters might struggle with this, so try this, and I'm not trying to convert you. Although if I do, I get like a toaster oven signed by the Pope. No pressure. Do you remember when, the, when Saul okay, was traveling to Damascus to round up and kill more Christians and the Lord appeared to him? The Lord's words to him, and remembering Jesus 
really isn't wrong. He said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute? Do you remember the next? Yeah, me. He didn't say, why do you persecute my people? And why is that? Well, look through the rest of everything Paul wrote after his conversion. What does he pound into it? That the corporal reality of we lovers of Jesus is that we are his body. And because of that, she's our mother. Okay? Now, in the book of Revelations, when John saw visions of heaven, what he saw were the saints standing before the Lord praying for us. And so for us who are Catholic and Orthodox, and I think a ton of our Anglican brothers, when we ask someone who has died to pray for us, it's literally no different, literally, than saying to anyone you see on the street, please pray for me. I'm always baffled by that. Well, I don't need to ask a saint for prayer. I pray right to God. Well, good for you. Me? I ask people to pray for me all the time. And if they happen to be dead, that's okay. I believe in the resurrection. And I think John was right in seeing heaven. I hope this makes sense. So for my Protestant brothers and sisters, that's, I don't get that. Uh, that seems logical to me. Uh, and so ask Mary. Mary, will you pray for me? You're not asking her to give you anything she has. She doesn't. It's all God. But it works the same way as with our hum us humans. When I pray for you, if something happens, it's not because of me, unless you want to give me pizza or cookies as a thank you. It's because of God. And it's the same with her. But she's in heaven. So, meh, meh. Okay. I think I went on and on, didn't I? Okay. What program do you facilitate at noon on this page? Now, is it on this page? Oh, praise God. Yeah. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm calling it quarantine catechesis. And it's just the idea that some of y'all have free time now that you didn't have before. And I can tell you are texting me. Holy crap. Uh, so let's, so my thought was, and I think this was from the Lord, why not do a catechism class? So yesterday we talked about, come Holy Spirit, God's will and God's love and how God loves will. Uh, Will's a buddy of mine, Will Yurkevich. He lives in Traverse City. Um, he also loves some of you, a few other people. Today, we're going to talk about sin. And I know this is weird, but I think it's going to be a riot. And I think I can help us a lot. I've been praying about it because I'm not a sinner, but like you people. Woo! Okay. So that'll be at noon on my Facebook page and on Church of the Holy Family Facebook page. Holy cow, we're getting questions. Okay, could you explain the bells during consecration? I don't remember growing up with that tradition. That's because you're young. Next question. No, uh, what it is, is it's our reminder that the best thing in the universe is about to happen and is happening, truly. Um, for those of you who are married, I'm not married that you know of. No, I'm not married. And so one of the things sometimes I'm dying to tell married people, but I haven't figured out a way to do it right, is you should be grateful. Married people spend a lot of time complaining about their partners, right? And a lot of and I know they love them. That's, that's not even the issue. But in the same way that married people will say to me, and they always do the caveat, I love my spouse, but you really are blessed, you know, to blah, blah, blah. Guys, we are so unaware of how, we are ble how blessed we are because we're used to the blessing. The first year of your marriage, it would never have occurred to you to go to your friend and complain about your spouse. Why? Because you were aware of what a great blessing this is. But at some point, the ridiculously beautiful became your norm. And it's the same with priests. We do the same thing. Uh, so why do we ring bells? Because every day God gives us the greatest thing ever, and we are spoiled little snots who take it for granted. And we need a reminder, whoa, best thing ever is happening. I hope that helps. And even if it doesn't, it's true. Why, what prayer do you say before receiving the Eucharist? It's beautiful. I wrote it. Uh, meaning the Holy Mother Church wrote it, and I read it out of the book. Uh, come Holy Spirit. Can you guys help me remember to type this next time? Okay. Uh, ready? Um, Lord Jesus Christ. And you know what? Like the new translations, it is so awkward, but it's beautiful theology. I don't get it. I wish they would have had English speakers do the English translations of the Mass. That would have been convenient. All right. Yeah, bold. Bold plan, Carrie. 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Isn't that lovely? Ah, maybe we should get that down. Trudy, oh my gosh. Trudy wants to know if we can eat an impossible Whopper, which is meatless on Friday. Now, Trudy, I love you and I miss you. Front row with your beautiful husband. Uh, guys, for those of you who don't know them, oh, they're going to heaven. Uh, I think, Trudy, and don't beat me if I'm wrong, I think you're over 65. So you can eat a Whopper on Friday. Jerks. Uh, yeah, I, I assume if it's meatless, yeah. I just, I don't know, that sounds vile to me. Why, if vegetarianism is so good, I've never figured this out. Why does everything they make, do they make it, they say it tastes like meat? You, does this make sense? I'm truly, I've never understood. You should be a vegetarian. No, that's awful, right? Have you seen me? I eat meat. Uh, I'm high on the food chain, dang it. Um, but here's the thing. What's their argument always? We well, shouldn't eat bacon. They can give you this plant thing that tastes like bacon. Well, why don't I just eat the bacon then? Yeah, anyway, okay. What can we say to our kids during this time when they are scared? Okay, uh, hear me out. I really want to challenge and maybe help all of us on this. I taught high school kids for 10 years, and I see this a ton in the public schools. There was a time when the adults in our life shielded us from the fears we couldn't do anything about. I see a lot of people passing on their fears. I teachers too. I, I'm astounded by this. Um, kids come home from school freaked about all these, you know, the, the global warming. We have teachers who are telling kids the world's gonna end in 14 years. Tell me how that knowledge helps them. They have no power to do anything except be terrified, okay? We tell them the truth, but you didn't tell them when they came to you at two years old, Mom, is there a Santa? No, we made that up, you know? You, you go easy, you go easy. What, you think there's squeakers watching? I love you, this is why I don't have children. I'm gonna go now. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just need to leave now. <laughs> Who has children watching me? I'm not bright. You should have them like watch a good person. Okay, if I just made a mess, I love you all very much. Yeah, yeah, you got, I kind of now hope the crisis stays for a while just so you forget before you see me again and punch me in the face. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry, I love you all. Go easy on your kids. They don't need to know everything, but here's what they do need to know, and I mean it. Jesus is close. I'm serious. Pound that into their head. Um, and when it's time for the, them to become the little social activists we want them to, then we arm them mentally and emotionally. But in the meantime, if they don't have a foundation that Jesus is in love with them and is in charge, their fear will dominate the rest of their life instead of conviction. All right. Holy cow, I am going on and on. During Sunday Live Mass, can you remind us to follow along as it were in church? Yeah, you know what? You're right, I should do that. Um, so, uh, so my family is informed by you since they don't believe me. <laughs> All right, play this part for your family. She, or I assume it's a she, I'm gonna be honest. Huh? It's gotta be a female. Okay, she's right. Write that down. Will you consider streaming live mass, mass? Yeah, we were before. Now, to be clear, we never, ever want anyone to choose live streaming when they don't have to. And I mean that. That's a serious thing. That's missing mass. 
when this crisis passes, we will continue to live stream mass for those who can't get to church. I can't say this clearly enough, okay? This is the second option. Uh, is that? Yeah, okay. Um, guys, I'm looking at the time and I need to stop, uh, but uh, I do want to take a minute and do a couple things. Can I do this even though it's not on here? Okay, so Will, okay, Will Urbanic, you guys, a lot of you don't know him, but he is one of the best servers Jesus ever made. I'm just going to put that out there, okay? And he is a good boy and a good student, and uh, he loves our Lord. And Will, I want to wish you a happy birthday. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you and that you are here for a reason, that Jesus brought you, gave you to this world as an answer to people's prayers, okay? So you remember how precious you are in the sight of God. You remember that you were made to be a saint. And I want you to know that I'm going to pray for you today that you have a wonderful birthday and you be good to your mom and dad and your sister. Okay? So for everyone else, if you're interested, I will see you at noon where I'm going to ruin children's Easter. <laughs> oh, may I offer another one? Andy, I don't know if you're watching. Andy Dion, one of my former students, delivered his latest baby in his home. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you, Jen and Andy. And I love you. And I pray that Jesus gives us a saint through your angel of a daughter. Okay, bye everyone. Love you.